Today we are going head to head with Bowflex versus Powerblox adjustable dumbbells. Bowflex versus Powerblox head to head. Bowflex and Powerblox are the most popular brands of adjustable dumbbells on the market today. And we're going to take a look at the overall picture of each and then we're going to compare individual features and see which ones we like more and at the end a few more words just so you know exactly what you're getting into if you want to buy them so let's get started first thing we need to know is what exactly we're comparing and i want to be accurate so i want to tell you this is the bowflex select tech 552 uh, which varies between 5 and 52 pounds or about two and a half to 21 kilos roughly and this is the PowerBlocks Sport 9.0 version. So now we know, so let's get started. First thing that we're gonna compare is the mechanisms. Now the mechanism of the Bowflex is extremely simple. It has a dial on the front with numbers. You just select the weight. Let's say here it's five kilos. I have to select it as well on the other side. And then here we go. Only five kilos comes out and you can train. You can put it back. If you want six kilos, you just rotate again the dial and lift. Very easy. Now the power blocks are a bit different. The power blocks have this pin here. So, and here we see the numbers. So white corresponds to 11 and a half to 13 and a half kilos. Now, let's say the pin is out. So we have this pin. We have to slide it under the white color and when we lift, we get the weight that we selected. Now, the power blocks also have another feature, which is that it has these little bars inside. So, if we just open up the latch here, you can see that we have two times one kilo, or about two and a half pounds of weight. And that's if we want to be really accurate, then you can make adjustments of um, one kilo, or about two and a half um, pounds, And that's how it works. All right, so now let's go head to head for the first time. Which mechanism do we prefer? Obviously the mechanism is a very important part of adjustable dumbbells. You want it to be fast. You want it to be easy and smooth. Um, the Bowflex obviously does that. All you gotta do is rotate the dial here and here and you lift and you're ready to go. The power blocks on the other hand, you have this pin which can you know, it's uh, you know, it's not as quick, and then you gotta choose the corresponding color. Sometimes, like I just did now, you might by accident put the pin uh, slightly at an angle, at which point you realize and you have to take it out and put it in correctly. And the thing is with the power block mechanism is that if you want to change weights with small increments, you're gonna find yourself doing a lot of this. Taking it out, taking the pin out, taking this out empty, opening this latch here, taking out maybe one kilo, putting it back, closing it, and then putting in the pin again so to start working out. That's if you want small increments. And if you find yourself doing that a lot, that can get a little bit frustrating. So I would say that in terms of ease, uh, you know, user friendliness, in terms of mechanism, Bowflex, Bowflex takes this one. Alright, now let's compare their sizes, because as we know, size is very important. On the Bowflex right now, I have 4 kilos selected, and as you see, if I take it out, only 4 kilos is attached, but I still have the whole bar, and this will be the case no matter how much weight I choose. So if I choose more weight, 5 kilos, then I get 5 kilos, but still the bar is just as big as when we had 4. Now if you want to do curls, you can already see that it's it might be a little bit frustrating because they are so long and also if you want to do any kind of exercise which the dumbbells come close to each other then um, you know because they're so long they might get in the way of each other and disturb during the exercise and this is where the power blocks have a huge advantage because only uh, the size of the of the dumbbell is going to be as big as the amount of weight which you chose so now I have nine kilos for example and only nine kilos comes out 
and I don't have the whole bar. Now just to compare, this is 9 kilos versus 5 kilos, and as you see, it's half the length. So that is a lot, a lot more practical. So, in terms of size, I must say that the power blocks take this one. Alright, now let's talk about the ranges of the weights. This Bowflex can have 5 to 52 pounds, um, and, or 2 to 21 kilos, and the power blocks come in three different stages, which you have to buy separately. The first stage is up to 22 and a half kilos, which is almost the same as the power blocks, actually even a bit more. Uh, the second stage expands it up to 41 kilos and then up to 59 kilos. Now in all fairness, you can also get a heavier version of the uh, Bowflex dumbbells, which is the 1090, which can have 10 to 90 pounds. But still, even the 90 pounds comes, um, is only about, is not as high as if you get all the three stages of the, uh, of the power blocks. So in terms of ranges of weight, Power Blocks takes it again. All right. Well, what about the weight distribution? Uh, on the Bowflex, as you see, most of the weight is on the bottom because the handle needs to come in on the top. So lots of times, if you have, especially if you have a lot of weight, there's more weight on the bottom than uh, on the top of the bar. So if you're doing some kind of curl or you're doing you're doing your exercise you might feel like the um, like the bar wants to rotate and kind of you know maybe go against your against your wrist uh, because of because of that weight um, I would say that is quite a big disadvantage in terms of the the power blocks you have that too but the more weight that you have uh, the less you feel it the reason for that is, is if you have a low weight, you might have a little bit more weight here on the bottom because of the extra, um, the extra bars, which are down here, the extra about uh, two kilos of, of weights which you have. Uh, so then you might also feel that it rotates. Uh, or especially if you take out just, just one of the bars from here, then you might feel like you know, that, it, that the weight isn't evenly distributed, and that can be kind of distracting as well. But in the power blocks uh, defense, the more weight that you have, the less you feel it, because these, the main weights here on the sides, um, are quite evenly distributed. So, um, so the, the more weight you have here, the less you feel a problem with weight distribution, but the more weight you have here, the more you feel that problem. So in terms of weight distribution, once again, Power blocks take it. Now for a few more bits and pieces. The power blocks, they're not exactly perfect. I want to show you something. If I put in a light weight, put in the pin here. On the other side, you have the end of the pin here, and sometimes if you're kind of it might get stuck in your clothes or it could really scratch you quite quite nicely, I must say. Um, so I tend to when I when I work out I make sure that the part of the, uh, the, this part is close to my body so I don't get scratched. So that's the one thing that you should, that I feel that um, you should take into consideration. It's something small. Another thing is, is that if you want to have more weight on one side of the dumbbell than the other, then you're going to need the bulk flex because the power blocks can't really do that. Here I can choose to have more weight on one side than on the other. And as you see here, I have more weight. So especially maybe if you're doing some kind of triceps, you know, you might feel more comfortable if there's more uh, weight on the on one side than the other. Uh, then the Bowflex has that. The Bowflex is also rubber uh, at the at the tips. So when they do touch each other, they might bounce a little, uh, which can be seen as an advantage or disadvantage. Sometimes if you have metal like here hitting each other, it's not so uh, comfortable. Especially you know, it gets could make the ends uh, sharp, but here they just bounce off each other. It could be seen as an advantage, but that's also one thing that you that you should know. Another thing that you might want to uh, take a look at is the grip. Both legs have this kind of rubber ergonomic grip, which personally I think is alright. You can live with it. 
um, in terms of the power blocks. Uh, each version has a different type of grip. Here you just have a basic kind of standard, also tries to be ergonomic grip. I would say they're both equally as good, you can live with both of them. Uh, neither of them are perfect, I would say, but they're both just as fine. Now one very important thing is reliability. How reliable are these weights? I would say they are both equally reliable. Um, the Bowflex is quite sturdy and so is the power blocks, even though they don't seem like it at first. With a, with a Bowflex sometimes, well, let me just put an even amount of weight there, with a Bowflex sometimes if you take, you kind of hear the weights, they might be a little bit loose and at first you're thinking, hey, this thing is about to fall apart, but they don't, they're really good. Same thing with the, with the power block, you lift them up, they also kind of, you know, you kind of hear them, but that's something that you get used to and, um, and it's okay. So in terms of reliability, I'll say they're both equally reliable. Alright, so how much do they cost? I would say I leave that up to you. Uh, both uh, are quite expensive, I must say, but wherever you are in the world, it's going to cost you something different. So take a look for yourself and see which one is more worthwhile for you. Uh, overall, if you take a look at the overall picture, uh, especially if you are a heavy lifter, then you're most likely going to go with the power blocks. Um, they're not so pretty. When I first saw them uh, and I didn't know what they were for, I was wondering what is this thing? The Bowflex obviously are aesthetically much more pleasing, but at the end of the day, I think in terms of advantages and disadvantages, power blocks take it. Alright, so thanks and happy lifting! Yeah? 2.2 kilos. 2.2 uh, pounds is 1 kilo. Why?